Right guys, we're back to another video. So, as you can tell by the title and on your screen here, we've been ranking the championship kits for uh, the 1920 season. So, today I'm going to be doing a home kit. If you like it, I'll do the um, away kits as well. Uh, could do like the predictions for the Prem and the championship. A little bit late for this because uh, obviously the season started for both, but it's only uh, two games for the championship and one pl one played in the Prem. So, um, yeah, on this site, everyone knows it, the tier maker. And they've got um, the championship ones. So uh, the kits at the bottom are pretty small. So I'm going to head over to this site uh, where it just shows the list of them. Like I said, only the home ones today. So we're going to head in first for Barnsley. So Barnsley, I actually rate this kit. I actually really like it. Um, I can't remember what their last season's kit because obviously I Cardiff in the Prem last year and uh, didn't really take notice of the championship at all really until uh, the playoffs. So um, Barnsley's kit, I like really like the brick red behind it. It sort of, it sort of goes nice. I don't know if it's anything to do with the investment room. I'm not sure what the sponsor is, but uh, um, the white sort of like blends in nicely with the sleeves on the white. I think Puma's done a good job on this one. So for Barnsley, I'm actually going to put it in good. I actually rate that. It's a good start for Barnsley. So uh, yeah, on to Birmingham. Birmingham, I reckon... Uh, I rate this. Uh, I like the different shades of blue. We've got like the, the Cardiff blue, so obviously not a Cardiff blue, Royal blue and a navy there. And uh, the sponsor, Boyle Sports, is obviously another betting one. Uh, sort of the yellow, obviously from the, the collar yellow, looks pretty decent to go with the sponsor. It doesn't really stand out. It's not really like a uh, like bold and, and ugly. So um, I think the yellow on the sleeves actually is quite nice. Just notice that now. And uh, obviously Adidas, pretty simple, but I think, I think it's decent. I'm gonna go with average for uh, Birmingham. Blackburn here, I actually saw, I don't know, like sometimes I see it and I'm thinking, oh, that's really nice. Then also this 10 bet uh, sponsor, it really throws it off. I'm sorry to Blackburn fans, because I really hate this sponsor here. On the away kit, I think it does look nicer, but this, I don't know, the 10 bet is so ugly in my opinion. I don't really know, the red obviously is probably matching the roses. Is it a rose? I think it's a rose on the black, Blackburn uh, badge there, but I'm both done decent job with the stripe I don't really like this in the collar I think that that should be white and that should be blue I know it's like a checker thing but yeah um sleeves are decent apart from the red I would have taken the red off and that 10 bet really puts it down to like a oh, I don't know not, not good on meh I'm gonna put I am gonna put it in not good that 10 bet really throws it off but uh yeah right Brentford here I I don't know it's really simple, but that Eco World, another sponsor, is just really ugly. The, the font for it is so bad. And why I know Eco, obviously green and environmental and stuff, but the green is really ugly on this Brentford kit. And the, uh, the Brentford colours, obviously red and white, do look nice, but it's just this sponsor. I think it doesn't stand out as much as that 10 bet one, but then the, the, uh, the sponsor is pretty ugly. For Brentford, I think I'm going to go meh. I don't know, yeah. I think I'm going to have to go meh. Right, not quite sure why this site didn't have the Bristol kit, uh, home kit. It goes away, goalkeeper and, and then goal away. But uh, this is the Bristol kit here. I really like this. I know I know, obviously Bristol rivals with Cardiff. But uh, to be fair, the simplicity of this is really nice. I do like the Bristol badge nowadays. I think it's quite nice. And uh, I love the shirts with the collar. It's on the Wales uh, home kit right now. And uh, the little button there is really, really nice. So um, I am going to put that. It's not unique, so it's going to have to be good, only because of the simplicity, but it is a nice kit, so uh, yeah. Right next, on to my team, Cardiff, obviously home kit this year is uh, it's different, it's obviously the blue, it has to be blue, since uh, since we've gone back to blue, it hasn't been anything but blue, and that's a good thing obviously, and uh, the black, it's like a blacky dark blue in the in the kit, like, uh, I, wouldn't, I don't know how you explain that, it's like, uh, I don't know what you'd say. I think it's I think it's nice. I don't know. First of all, when I first saw it, I was thinking, oh, hang on, that's gonna be minging. Then in person on this, I don't know who that is. Uh, it looks like it might be Peltier or someone. But um, yeah, it does it does look nicer in person. And I and uh, gonna be a bit biased and go for good because of how nice it does look in person. So yeah. Next up is Charlton. Uh, I rate this kit a lot. I love the like. I don't know if they're like dotted, but like the white stripes there. So like thin and they, they do look nice collar's quite nice with the like black outline and then the white chunkier like outline the things on the sleeves i like as well the patterns are not too like bold but they are they are pretty nice and then the sponsor i don't really like but then uh i think the rest of the kit sort of brings it up to a to an average kit so uh yeah decent for uh 
Charlton. Next up is Derby. This this is going to be the highest uh, so far. I really like the uh, like black stripes on the sleeves. I think that's pretty unique and. Uh, the collar is obviously pretty simple. The Derby badge, because it's black and white anyway, goes really nicely with uh, with the kit. Umbro done a solid job. The 32 red actually looks decent on here as well. The sponsor is probably one of the first to look all right. And uh, obviously the black blends in with the white as, as the rest of the kit does. So it's going to be our first unique kit on the on the list. All right, next up is Fulham. This is, for me, too simple. Like It's literally just the red collar. And a white shirt with a Fulham badge and Daffa bet, another betting company. It's it's not nothing nothing wrong, but too simple in a way. So I don't know. Adidas has just literally slapped on a Fulham badge and a little red collar. So for Fulham, it's gonna have to be. I think it's gonna be bad. No, nothing against Fulham, obviously a good side, but I just think the kit is too simple. It's literally like a training top. Right lads, just realised on this site it doesn't have the Huddersfield kit. I'm not sure if they took off the one with the sponsor and then forgot to put on this one here, but this is so nice. I rate the Huddersfield kit so much, mainly because of no sponsor. I think no sponsor kits are so nice and literally probably the nicest in the championship right now. So if I was to put it, it would just about make beautiful, only because it's so uh, like clean. Like I think that's the best word to describe it, clean. It's just like blue and, blue and white nothing much wrong the sponsor no sponsor just makes a kit so much better in my opinion i would i would prefer that but obviously clubs aren't gonna i'm gonna do that so don't know why Huddersfield isn't on here just go straight to hull so uh yeah onto hull hull here another really really nice kit a unique kit as well so probably go straight into unique i really like the like obviously tiger stripes for their is it i'm guessing it's a tiger i don't, don't even know i think it's a tiger uh does it say yeah, tiger print, so yeah, it definitely is a tiger. Sport Pesa is black, it just blends in with the stripes really. Umbro, another nice kit from Umbro, Umbro to be fair. So I'm gonna go straight into, you can scroll up, unique with uh, Derby and obviously headed to in beautiful, but can't do much about that. Next up is Leeds. I really like this kit as well. Another good team in the championship. Is it Cougar? I don't know, who is that uh, who do Leeds? I can't think, I think it's Cougar, I'm not sure, but uh, 32 red again, same with Derby and a few others, I think Middlesbrough or someone. But, um, it's like a silvery colour. Uh, I do really like it, I think it's simple but nice. The badge like makes it, like don't know how to explain, like bold, because it's like different colours to the rest of the kit, and I do think it's really really nice. So I'm just going to go up there and good. Good with uh, making a fourth good kit in the championship so far. Next up, Luton Home, obviously kind of played them, so I've seen it in real life. Uh, beat them 2-1 in the end. I do like this kit. I do. I don't know why they've got um, the white here in this. I think if they put the, that as uh, the sleeves as both blue, like instead of uh, white then blue, I think just two blue sleeves would have been nicer. But the indigo uh, residential or whatever, whatever that's. Uh, don't know what that is for. But I think uh, Puma's done a good job on this kit. The loot and badge, different colours with the yellows, but uh, I think it does blend blend pretty nicely. And uh, I'm gonna put. Luton in average. Right next up is Middlesbrough. Decent kit this year. It's, I don't know. I don't know if I like these stripes here, but the sleeves are decent. The red, uh, the black and white is like Cardiff's a few years ago when we had the red kit. I think it does. It does like finish off the sleeve quite nicely. 32 red again. Uh, Hermel a different sponsor. No kit uh, make for once. Um, but it's a decent kit. Nothing really standing out for me. But so uh, it's gonna go a meh. Join is that who is that? Uh, can't even tell who's that. Brentford, Brentford in the uh, mess. So yeah, decent from uh, Middlesbrough. Right, I'm a bit confused here for Millwall because on on here it has uh, like a Millwall shirt, but then it's got like a collar and stuff. This site shows this uh, V-necked one, and then the Millwall shop shows the v-necked one like this site so i think we should ignore that i'm guessing this is the millwall kit for now so we'll get rid of that but decent kit i think it's a bit too much not too much but like i don't know what these sponsors are doing there they should have the efl ones there i'm guessing they do in game husky chocolate is an awful sponsor I, i've never tried it but it just looks it looks pretty bulky and ugly but uh this is decent on the side the stripes and uh obviously the blue and white can't really go wrong and i'm gonna put it in meh as well obviously ignore that i think that's the wrong kit there so yeah next up nottingham forest 
another pretty plain kit. It's the same sponsor as uh, Millwall. I don't know what sponsor that is, to be fair. I'm not really sure. Never really seen it. Uh, decent. Football Index, decent sponsor. Like, I keep on saying decent, but this uh, little arrow, obviously, for the index sign is it's all right. Uh, this detail in here, like diamonds, kind of like faded, faded in uh, into the bottom and into the top. It's quite nice. I think I'm gonna, another one meh to be honest. Uh, yeah, not not great, but not bad. Next up, Preston North End. I really like this kit. I think Nike's done it. Like it's really simple, but then uh, even even the sponsor sort of makes it like makes it a better kit. It's got the 32 red again. Another like so fourth time I've seen it or something. The um, I really like these little triangles every every so often. It's uh, matching the navy blue on the Nike. I think it probably matches. Yeah, it does match the shorts and the stripes on the socks. I think it is a really really nice kit so um yeah i'm gonna put that in good join uh, cardiff leeds bristol and barnsley next up qpr i think I, I think i like this as well uh the stripes across obviously qpr uh usually the blue and white and uh, i think the this white i think this is really nice where the white goes into the into the sleeves so like finishes off the the stripe but the royal panda is a, i don't like the font but that that is that's all right and the sponsor, the sponsor, I mean the badge, isn't too bad. And Aria, or if you say the maker, I know it, I just can't say it. And the, yeah, the gold, gold on the sleeves and the collar is pretty nice. So I'm gonna put it in uh, average. Next up is Stoke. I never find Stoke kits nice. I don't know why. I don't know if they're too like. I don't know if it's just Stoke. Nothing against Stoke fans, but collar's decent. I prefer the other collars like the was it? I don't know if it's Charlton or someone. Can't remember who like the Wales kit I mentioned earlier. The, it's that sponsor again, Bet365, another bad com company. I'm gonna put it in not good, only because I never I never really like them. And I don't think they've changed it that much to be fair. So sorry, Stoke. Third from last, we got Swansea, obviously Cardiff Rivals. <sighs> don't know if I'm being biased, but don't know. It's really plain black here. It's, uh, don't know what that's doing to be fair under the armpits. Maybe it goes on through there. Yo bet, that's an ugly, ugly sign. At least it's black to go with uh, like the black accents on there. It's got a collar. I don't really know what this like. I don't know what it's, it's reminding me of like, um, like antlers or something. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's gonna go on not good. A little bit biased, but um, yeah, gonna go there. Next up is uh, West Brom. I really like West Brom's kit this year. They're like, uh, it looks like rivers. I don't know. It's just different shades of navy blue in there. And the, the stripes clean, ideal boilers isn't isn't bad. It's quite big, but at least it goes with the the blue and blue and white. And then the red in the puma. I'm not sh not sure why if there's any like red link, but it's okay. Puma's done a decent job. It's gonna go in average, I think. Yeah, I'll put it in average. And then finally finishing off the video, we have uh, Wigan's home kit here. I don't like the green. I think if they left it blue, it would have been a decent kit. But I don't really like it, and this sponsor is quite ugly. I'm not sure what the sponsor is, to be fair. It's, uh, it looks. Uh, I'm not trying to be racist, but it looks Chinese. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what that language is there. But I really don't like that sponsor, and I don't think the green. Obviously, green to match the tree and Wigan's uh, uh, like badge, but don't really like it. So I'm, it's going to join Fulham in bad because of the sponsor and the green. I think they could have made the green, maybe just the just the collar here would have been nice, but too chunky like sleeve things, I don't think it's great, but uh, that is my thing. Obviously Huddersfield at the top with n n the no sponsor kit, they've uh, won, their, won my um, tier list. So yeah, that's, that's it for my tier list. If you enjoyed it, please hit a thumbs up and uh, in the comments, put yours down if you, or just put down what you think was the best kit and what you think was the worst. Obviously, Fulham and Wigan have drawn mine. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe already. Peace. <laughs>